Let's take a look at DF Robots DF Player Pro and see if it stacks up to what we've become used to with the DF Player Mini that we've used for such a long time now. If you were thinking that the Pro is an upgrade to the Mini, then you're going to be mistaken. It is not. The Pro right here, as you can see, does not have a micro SD card slot. It stores the files on the chip directly. And the other thing is, all the commands are different than what you are used to with the Mini. It has a completely different library. So we have to start from scratch when doing the code. We may be able to finagle it a little bit to get it to work from the old stuff, but you have to put different commands in. So let's take a look at some of the differences. The DF Player Mini and the DF Player Pro. The biggest difference is the Pro is stereo and you did support yes, which means that you could download the files directly to the disk. AD key is the same that's the same a few more file types are available with the pro here's the big difference stereo dual channel output support four controlling modes arduino at command onboard buttons and ad key we'll walk you through the arduino mention a little bit about the at commands the onboard buttons, uh, we'll mention a little bit about that also. And the AD key also, we'll talk about that. Onboard 128 megabyte high speed storage. Support the USB cable to copy music. You'll need a USB-C cable. Can be used as a sound card for your PC or Raspberry Pi. If you just hook up your USB-C to your computer you can click on an audio file on your computer from your Explorer and it'll play through your Pro. Now let's take a look at all the commands that you're going to have to deal with. Begin. Set baud rate. Set play mode. Set LED, set prompt, set volume, switch function, get volume will give you a display of what the volume is, get play mode, it gives you what the play mode is, get current file number, get total files, get current time, get total time, get file name. Next and last, start and pause, delete current file. I'm not sure why they have that in there unless you're a part of Mission Impossible where we're going to delete this file within five seconds. Play special file, play file number. So the, the file number, you just put 01 or 02, whatever the file number is. Play special file is if you want to put a subdirectory in there. You name the subdirectory, you put slash sub, the, the subdirectory and slash the file name. Okay, enable amp and disable amp. So if you want to turn it on and off, you could do it right there. Fast forward or fast reversed if you want to jump around in the file if you if you have if you're just playing one file and you have multiple instances in that file where you have different sounds or different voices in there you could jump around with the fast forward and the reverse and set play time and those are all the commands that you have for the DF player pro all this information that I'm showing you here is from GitHub, where you could find the library. Compatibility works well with the Uno, Mega 2560, Leonardo, ESP32, 
ESP8266 and MO. Now let's take a look at the pinout. Top view right here, here is your USB-C. Here is your chip right there. The VIN, where you pull in your power, and the ground. Receive and transmit. So if you're hooking it up to your, your Arduino, you're gonna be hooking up one, two, three, four, these four pins right here. DAC right and DAC left is for an amplifier or amplified speaker. One goes to the right and ground, the other goes to the left and ground. On this side over here, key, we'll talk about that, and that is used for push buttons and resistors, basically the same as on the Mini. The play pin right here, although it states that it is a function button, there is no documentation on it other than what it says right there. When I check the pin from a meter, I got 3.3 volts on it constantly. So I have no idea what that pin is used for. Minus, plus, left and right. Okay, that is to hook up speakers directly to the item like I have on my breadboard right there. You are going to be hooking this thing up to Arduino and basically this is how you hook it up here. This is your transmit and receive here. These two wires right here go on to two and three of the Arduino and the VIN and the ground go to your five volt and the ground over here and then your speakers if you want to use two speakers, you could use one speaker. Uh, on my project, I'm using two speakers, so I have them hooked up here. Uh, I'm not going to go through how to hook it up with the, the amplifier. It's basically the same thing with the DF Player Mini. And I have some videos on that, how to hook it up to an amplifier. When you're using the AD button controller, here are the keys right here. You have 10 push buttons and resistors of different resistances and this is basically the same way you did it with the mini and you could play pause short and long press when you have two of them you know, like it says right here click and long press volume up volume down or last or next switch play mode fast forward 10 seconds pause play volume up and down Fast rewind and play the first song set volume to 10 and this is how you would hook it up right there the AT commands and basically everything that you could do in your Arduino you could do with the AT commands on your serial monitor the library can be downloaded from github click right here where it says code and click on download zip to put it on your computer easy as that additional information on this video and other videos that i have can be found on tom's train of thoughts in the projects folder and if you're new to arduino you could check out my videos and an explanation of arduino made easier I test and edit my code locally on my computer through the Arduino IDE and once I have everything ready I upload it to the web editor on Arduino website arduino.cc that way I could have it available on my web page for viewing there Now it's time to walk you through the sketch that I'm about to demo. Here's the sketch right here. I just made some changes on it, so we're going to have to compile it before we run it. So, up in the header, we're using two libraries, the DF1201S and Software Serial. And we have two wires connected to Arduino other than the power and ground for the receive and the transmit. Uh, we have a, a while statement in there, uh, just in case something goes wrong uh, and it failed, please check the wire connections uh, that you'll get that error message if anything goes wrong with it. 
we set the initial volume to 10 we pause it for a little bit we set the switch function to music we set the play mode to single set prompt whenever this thing starts up you get a audible prompt in there that shuts it off and this is uh, additional commands that are available I just left that in that was in the examples okay I started off with two procedures play first and play second well, let me walk you through that we start off by we're gonna play file number one and set play time is 20 that is gonna start the file 20 seconds in and we're gonna delay it for 20 seconds so that means we're gonna play it for 20 seconds then we're gonna to go to the play second we're going to play file number number four. We're going to start that at 30 seconds in. We're going to reduce the volume to number to five and play for 10 seconds. We're going to fast forward 40 seconds. We're going to move it 40 seconds ahead. We're going to play that for 10 seconds. And then we're going to set play time. We're going to jump back to 30 seconds in on that file and play that for five seconds so we're going to jump around back and forth that's to demonstrate you know how to jump around in one file then we're going to go to the next song the next track and we're going to play that for 25 seconds that's an easy one right there then we're going to go next track again we're going to start it at 33 seconds in and we're going to play it for 20 seconds then we're going to go to the next song and play that one for 26 seconds. Then we're going to go play file number three. We're going to set the volume to 20. And we're going to play that for 49 seconds. And then we're going to play file number two. And we're going to play that one all the way through. Uh, that's the last command on there, so we don't have to put a time in it it's going to run all the way through the last command is while so let's hit the compile and see what happens so it compiles it and then it uploads what I made the changes to and it'll start done uploading so you can see right up here sets the volume to 10 And that is the first procedure right there. Plays for 20 seconds. Now this is the one where it skips it around. Play second. Sets the volume to 5. It's going to play for 10 seconds. Skips the 40 seconds in, plays for 10 seconds. Skips the 30 seconds in, plays for 5 seconds, and then goes to the next command. And that plays for 25 seconds. And let's find that down here. Okay, 25 seconds right here. And the next one I'm going to play for 20 seconds right there. That starts 33 seconds in to the song. The next one is going to play for 26 seconds. We did the next command on that one. On the next one, we're going to play the file number three. We're going to set the volume up to 20. And we're 
we're playing that for 49 seconds. Some of my favorite tunes on here. That's why I had to use this. Now I'm using the onboard button on the DF Player Pro to reduce the volume on there. Even though it's hooked up to Arduino, that button still functions as a volume down. It, there's no option to crank the volume back up though. But this is going to play all the way through. Like I said before, you don't have to put a delay in there because there's no commands right after that. It's going to finish that one out hopefully with the information i provided you here you can get started on your own project with the df player pro and like i stated earlier everything can be found on my website tom's train of thought slash projects slash df player pro so until the next time we'll see ya and of course, have fun with your projects.